Hello, friends and colleagues. Thank you for joining Feedback Panda today. This is our first live interview featuring the VI Panda of the week. My name is Gabrielle. Uh, my Instagram handle is ESL with Gabrielle. I'm very happy to be taking part in this, and thank you, Danielle, for letting me uh, do this interview. The VI Panda of the week is Devin Didier. You probably know him better as VIP Kid Guy. Uh, many have many of you have not seen his real face, just his bitmoji. So this is your chance to see him in the flesh. Um, I am going to turn off commenting because it seems to cover the bottom half of the screen, but I will turn it back on later in case anyone has any questions for Devin. Uh, without further ado, let's invite him to join. So Devin, I'm looking for your. Uh, request to join. Okay. okay, hopefully that does it. Devin. Hey. Hi. <laughs> hey. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can Good. you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So and I can see you. <laughs> Sounds like uh, one of our classes. Can you hear me? Can, yes. you, hear me? <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how how are you today? I am fine. <laughs> fine. 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 All right. So um, let's get started. Uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> what other things do you do besides VIP Kid? Oh wow. Um, <laughs> well, my wife and I uh, try as best we can to raise six children, and we have um, our oldest is sixteen, fifteen, uh, eleven, ten, eleven, ten, nine, eleven, ten, eight, and then. Four, uh, four. So it's just, it's crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think I got them all. I hope. Yeah. And you have some uh, we have fur kids aunt, too. Yes, we have a cat um, that we that we love, and she she's an outdoor cat, but she absolutely loves it outdoors. She'd rather be out there. And then uh, because my wife is also extremely allergic to cats, unfortunately, but um, my daughter loves the cat and she plays with the cat all the time. And then we have uh, two dogs. We have a little rat terrier and then we have a giant American uh, American bulldog. <laughs> so Great. He's, he's, well, he's huge. I love animals. So yeah. um, and I have a I have a little rat terrier too. Um, okay, so you have um, other companies that uh, you you've started and yes. can you tell us about those? Yeah, um, my wife and I, we, we, uh, we started back in 2013 with a company uh, that we started called Sweet Girl Bath and Body. And we make all natural bath and body products and uh, we do that out of our home. We have a dedicated workshop and it's, it's a lot of fun. Our whole family's involved. So um, we're teaching our kids finance and all kinds of things through that. Um, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> and then we also oh, have, yeah. oh, we also have uh, a tattoo uh, aftercare company, and we make tattoo aftercare products. So uh, tattoo and piercing aftercare products. And um, and the last thing that we we do is it's called Prove It, and it's exogenous ketones. And so uh, that's kind of my go juice. <laughs> okay, and um, I forgot to mention. So you homeschool all of your children, correct? Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. We homeschool, and my wife and I both, um, we direct, uh, I direct the, the junior class, if you will. It's called Challenge 3, in Classical Conversations is the name of the, the uh, company that we work for. And then my wife does Challenge 2, which is the sophomore class. So between the two of them, we 
we, we have a lot <laughs> going on and our kids, are, our, kid, our younger kids are in the, the, the younger classes and they meet once a week. So once a week we go to a community of people's kind of like a co-op, but it's not exactly mm -hmm. a co-op. And then the rest of the time we're homeschooling our kids and helping them with the enormous amount of work that they do and stuff like that. So, um, did you teach, uh, in a school, in a brick and mortar school? Yes, I did. I taught for um, a, a little while in a public school, and I was a band and choir teacher. So music is like my passion, and I do that. Um, I try to find outlets for doing that, I play every once in a while. And my son has picked it up, and he loves to make music, which is awesome. So we get to play together. And, um, and then I taught in a private uh, school in Indiana, so it was a lot of fun. Okay, great. Um, so that brings me to my next question. So you were talking about the exogenous ketones? Yes. Is that right? <laughs> okay, so your tricks for staying alert, um, you made a lot of lifestyle changes. So can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, okay, so let me just preface this to say that what I found uh, is sitting, I'm sitting, you know, for five hours. Yeah. And you can get really tired and like, I mean, I stretch and I, I get up and, you know, use the restroom or whatever between classes. But I mean, the, the amount of strain of just sitting for that long is not really good for you. And so it's like, I have to get up and move and, and I get tired in the morning. I wake up at three 30 and I'm like, Oh wow, here we go. You know? And the trick is get up and take a shower and get motivated and, you know, hit the class and, and have a lot of fun, but I have to, I have to have, um, my ketones and I'll show you this is what I do every morning. Uh, I rip open one, one packet of this and I pour it into water and I shake it up and I drink it. And, um, anyway, I can talk to people about that if they want to know more about it, but it has absolutely changed our lives and given us, um, energy, focus, better sleep, better mood, uh, if I don't take that in the morning, <laughs> drink it, I just have a harder time in class. But since I, I have it, it's just amazing. I can hit the ground. I can roll with it. And my kids are probably appreciative, too, because I'm not a zombie hitting my, class, <laughs> hitting my classes in the morning. Uh, do you take or do you drink any caffeine well, okay, along so, with that? No, but um, the product itself contains about... Uh, I think it's like a, I have to see, I think it's like a 12 ounce uh, um, or eight, eight to 12 ounce uh, cup of coffee. So it's about okay. like that much caffeine. They do have uncaffeinated as mm -hmm. well, but I drink the charged and the charge has caffeine and it actually helps. Um, it helps the ketones and ketones are really just brain fuel. That's really what it is. Our body actually prefers ketones. And when we have that fuel and we burn it, um, it's just a, it's an amazing fuel source. It's really, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely want to try it. Um, so, and I'm going to be including the links in the little write-up um, I'm going to do for you. So I'll, I'll include the links for yeah. um, the exogenous ketones and the, um, the bath products and the sure. tattoo products and all of that. Uh, let's Great. see. What else? What is your schedule like? Um, so I'm almost afraid to ask because <laughs> It sounds so hectic. Um, I, it's crazy. I I probably spend more time on Instagram than I need to, uh, <laughs> and because I absolutely love the community and I mm -hmm. love just the way people like interact with each other and I like to have fun, and uh, so just communicating back and forth. I I love it. I love when people talk back and and kind of you know like things and just share and the social part of of Instagram is just. I mean, it, that's what it's ma made for, yeah. but it's just, it's awesome. I love the community. And, yeah, it's um, very positive. Yeah, and it gives us a connection. Like, I mean, I, I met you, this, this whole connection uh, in there, and it's, it's so helpful, I think, if people aren't connected, they need to be connected because it really helps just to, to kind of weed out some, some thought and help you to understand what's going on with VIP Kid. I have mm -hmm. some friends that aren't as connected that do VIP Kid, and it seems like they're, they're like, well, I didn't know that, or I, I didn't understand right. that. or They're and, missing out on a lot of tips and tricks. Yes, yeah. So 
um, whatever you're doing, I think that it's good to be connected that way. And then, of course, there's meetups and stuff like that with VIP Kid. But um, I love this, the fact that you're in Florida, right? And yes. here, here I am. I'm in the middle of Missouri, and we can mm -hmm. still talk, and we can chat, and we can find um, common ground, just commonality. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I do. My schedule, <laughs> I spend more time on Instagram. But I, I, I get up 3.30. I hit classes 4 to 9 o'clock is my last class. And I usually have a pretty full schedule, eight to ten classes a day. Um, and then sometimes I'll do a night class, but it's not very often. I've kind of weeded that down because I wanted to spend more time with my family. Mm -hmm. But uh, at first I was doing a lot of night classes and too, just, just trying to open up as many slots as I could to get booked. And it really did work for me. I mean, I don't know if it works for everybody, but it worked for me. And I got lots of uh, things. And, and really right now I'm doing – way better than I, you know, I have in the, in the past. This month is going to be great. So as far as like a side hustle, people call it a side hustle. This is a great job. And of course, I love it because I get to play with kids and mm -hmm. the kids are awesome and the parents are awesome. I've got to connect with some of them through WeChat and things like that. And it's just been, it's been a real, real cool experience for me. Uh, and then just schedule wise, I get up, I have breakfast. Um, I usually have breakfast later in the day. I can go till about 12 o'clock without, you know, not really being hungry. And then when I when I am hungry, I go and get something to eat and I kind of mess around with the kids upstairs and we help them with school. And then I come back down and I start with my feedback. So Feedback Panda, huge. Can I just yeah, say? Yeah, you don't dread it anymore. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I, before Feedback Panda... I was spending somewhere around two hours um, doing feedback because I was just like, I'm really meticulous. I really want to make sure that parents were getting a good feedback from me that was encompassing what was going on in the class. And then also was telling them a little bit about what happened like, personally within the class and their student. And what I was finding was just the repetition of having to, to type that over and over and over again and not, not have something that was on the side where I could just grab it and just kind of throw it in. And I, I saw somebody that was like, yeah, I created my own database and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no way. <laughs> no, no way. No way. Well, yeah, and then having to access your own database too, it can get kind of, um, uh, you know, it, it convoluted, the, the file keeping and all of that, so. My thought was I would um, yeah. I know that I would be like yes good job Jimmy and it'd really be Frank or whatever and I'm like <laughs> uh, we've all that done up. that before yes okay so you know what I'm saying like I just yeah. I didn't want that to happen yeah. um, and so just finding feedback panda I was like well I don't know it, it, I'll try it I tried it in like three days I was like okay <laughs> I don't care yeah this this could cost twenty dollars a month I would be like yes. This is awesome. Um, it really, really is helpful, and it's it's given me time. So now I can literally get my feedback done. Went from two to three hours to about an hour or l less, like half an hour maybe sometimes, just depending on what my class load is. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's Yeah, no, I, I mean, I totally know what you're talking about. Um, it goes from three hours to 30 minutes. Uh, that's definitely a value. It's a huge value. Two hours of your yeah. time, of your life. Yes. Back. <laughs> yes. And that's not my, that, you know, with, with the company that I work for, um, you don't get paid for that time. So yeah, you, you have to kind of like, my wife was like, well, you spend it three hours after you get done with classes and you're not, you're not getting paid for it. I was like, well, yeah. So, um, she's like, you, you need to do something there. Get better at feedback. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> she's real. My wife is very real. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, um, she has that rapport with you. So. Yes, she does. So, yeah. And I love her. I love her. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, let's see. What else? Your favorite lesson or level to teach? Oh, man. Okay. So I enjoy, um, I enjoy level four a lot. And the reason why, I think, is because there's so much animals. There's so many animals mm -hmm. in there. And uh, so I have, like, this card deck that I got from Target, and it's hilarious. I can take these cards out, and I show them, and I, 
I play with, you know, the cards and, and my students, even though they're upper level, they still get a kick out of like, cause I, you know, I bring them by and I say, <laughs> I say like, I'm going to eat you, you know, and, and fun things like that. And they just, we just have a blast. We have so much fun. And so that is probably my favorite. And I didn't think so. I was like, I don't want to teach upper. I love the little ones, but a lot of the little ones are actually in the upper classes, which is really amazing. I didn't, uh, I didn't think that they would be, but they are, they, yes, they're very they're, precocious. They're very amazing. Like they can speak very well. So, um, I don't know. I, I really enjoy that a lot. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do you do in the five minutes between classes? <laughs> run like crazy. Um, so the no, I, I, yeah. I go run in the bathroom. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's true. Um, I'm downstairs and like, I have to run upstairs. I told the kids like, you cannot use this restroom because this is mine. Um, <laughs> if I have to go to the bathroom, I have like literally four minutes basically because you need to be in class at least a yeah. minute before otherwise you're in trouble. Um, and then <clears throat> I, uh, I usually am trying to take a drink and I go, I kind of push the limit. I probably shouldn't, but I go the limit. I go where it's at. And then I kind of go a little bit further because I hate to say goodbye to my kids. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> See you well, later. yeah. yeah. I, a, a lot of times there is no five minutes between classes because no. you know someone had a tech problem or right. Uh, and I have done feedback. Yeah. I have done feedback between classes. I am not as gifted as probably some are to do that. You can do it. I just, I'm just not. I that tried fast. it. It, it didn't work for it's, me. I couldn't concentrate. <laughs> It's really hard to get it done. Um, but I mean, I have done it. I did it one day and I was literally done with my feedback at the end of my, mm -hmm. my lessons. And I was like, that's amazing. But I, I don't feel like I was really as good at giving that personal note as I, I was, you know, so you got to have a trade off there. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I can relate. I don't do feedback between classes. I can't do it either. Um, let's see your hobbies and interests. So I know you have a lot of hobbies and interests, uh, wide and varied, uh, <laughs> lots of different things. You like to work with your hands. So I love to work with that. my hands. Okay. So, um, part of our homeschooling is like just learning new things. And so I bought a used car for, for my, uh, for my, myself, but also for my kids. And I said, okay, let's, let's take this thing apart and let's put it back together. And they're like, Okay, let's try it. So my, my older boys uh, helped me like completely rip the car apart and we ripped it apart. And I mean, not completely, but a lot. Uh, we didn't get into the engine because I'm not that skilled. I'm, you know, I can, I can put pieces together, but I'm not like an engine rebuilder. So anyway, we did that and we, and we got the car running, which is amazing because we didn't know that we would be able to do that. But, um, and my, my kids are like, yeah, I like this, Dad. I kind of enjoy taking cars apart. Let's do this more often. Okay. So maybe we'll find another cool car. This is a PT, <laughs> PT Cruiser. Some people like them. Some people don't. It was kind of fun. It was like I found it. I, I paid 400 bucks for it. So I was like, this is easy. Let's just do this, you know. And So maybe you can move on to classic cars. or. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'll try. But you also build computers or refurbish them. I have done that, yes. In yeah. fact, uh, I have a computer that's sitting up here. You can kind of see it. Um, that's kind of needs a new screen. And I'll probably end up putting a new screen in it sometime. Um, but, yeah, I enjoy doing that. I've done that for years. And if I have any free time and extra, a little bit of extra cash, I like to grab a computer here and there. My kids are like, Dad, that's a little ridiculous, you know, because I think last summer I bought, I think, six iMacs or something like that. And <laughs> they're like, why do we need six iMacs? I was like, well, I just want to take them apart and put them back together. So what yeah. was the, if, if you'd like to tell us, what was the cost of, um, of an fixing iMac? up an old computer versus well, buying so a new one, which is pretty expensive? Yeah. So, I mean, like, okay, so I could buy an iMac, a uh, used iMac, and mm -hmm. I could buy it for maybe 150 or $200. And 
And if I need to put a new motherboard or something in it, it might cost me another $150, $200. So maybe I might be in it for four or 500, just depending on what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and you can find stuff all the time, like on Craigslist or Facebook marketplace or, you know, just different places like that where it might not, it might have something that they just like the owner's just like, I don't know what's wrong with it. I took it to Apple. Apple won't fix it, which is the case a lot of times because Apple won't get refurbished parts or parts that are. So I'm kind of a weirdo and I'll grab stuff from eBay or a place where, you know, there's nothing else going mm -hmm. on and uh, where you can get stuff. And I, I, I've been following this guy on, on YouTube and he actually has uh, refurbished a Tesla. So he took a Tesla apart. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. Which is amazing. Uh, just to think about the complexity of taking a Tesla apart. He took yeah. uh, and he bought a, a used wrecked Tesla for, I think he said like $8,000 or something like that. And then he went and got another, the Tesla that had been wrecked and wow, started Wow, amazing. It, so yeah, I that'll put it be one of your goals. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if I'm ready to do a Tesla. That, that But and Tesla has their own, you know, it's proprietary. So they're like, they can shut your car off if they want to. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's kind of, it's a risky game. Like the guy, I think at the end he put twenty twenty eight thirty thousand in it. You know, mm -hmm. but he learned and, how to well, do it. That's a good chunk of change. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, if uh, I, if he knows how to do stuff like that, that's yeah. um. Now he I knows how to do it. I how to fix my own car. <laughs> it's fine. You can do it. Just get a manual. Um. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> I'll get a manual and start working on that right get away. Get a manual. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's see. You told us how you use Feedback Panda, uh, and you kind of told us about how it cha changed your daily routine. Um, what is your feedback style and structure? Uh, what kinds of things do you like to include? What do you think parents like to read? Um, and have you found a way to phrase things so that nothing gets lost in translation all, all, all of a sudden you're not insulting them or, <laughs> and you didn't know um, it or something like that. Yeah, I did. I did get on there the other day and it was so funny. Uh, they, they had a, they had marked the, the, one of the stories was called the silly shark. I don't know if you've encountered this or not. Yes, I have. <laughs> okay. So the silly shark and it got flagged in my comments Yes, because mm -hmm. it said silly and the and it wouldn't let me like post it. I was like, so I just took out silly and just said the shark or whatever. And I was like, yes, um, but that's the first time I've ever had anything flagged for like being inappropriate. Um, I've done I've done Google Translate before mm -hmm. and that's that's worked. And I've kind of like pulled it in and pulled it out. But now I've kind of just I've really just relied on Feedback Panda to have have really good uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. And I know it's templates and we you know, you take a risk, but. I will say this, um, since I've been using Feedback Panda, the the comments that I get back from parents have been a lot more, they're more studious. Like uh, before I think I was a little bit more um, kind of just per, way more personal. And so mm -hmm. I've made it a little bit a little bit more studious. And I think that the parents, um, it seems to me like from my perspective where I'm at, I think that I'm getting a little bit better feedback from parents because of that. But that might be because I'm so do you mean silly in class. You're, so <laughs> do, you, silly. do you mean that you're using more um, academic? Um, yes. Yeah. Or talking more about the academic part of the lesson. Right. So I start okay. with I start with just like a great greeting, hello, and I in that first part, if I haven't seen them in a while, I'll absolutely make sure to say I haven't seen you in a while, and this is so great. I'm so excited to see you again. And then I go into what's going on in the lesson, or if they've done something really spectacular, I might put that in the very beginning because my thought is if a parent gets that feedback, even if they don't get through all of the stuff, I want them to have sandwiched in between a really good comment at the top and a really good comment at the bottom. So they might not read my academic feedback, but they're going to read my personal feedback at the very top and very bottom. And so that's, that's my goal is like, okay, so here's a good comment at the beginning. And then I have academic, uh, I press through with academic uh, portion. And then I, I have, I always try to tell them that they achieve five stars or four stars or whoever it is. Most of the time it's five. But um, every once in a while you have a kid that just didn't make it for whatever reason, didn't get the four stars. And then uh, then afterwards, 
I let to I like to say I, I always end it with the same thing. Almost always, I say, "Thank you for sharing the class with me today. I look forward to seeing whoever it is in my class again soon." And then I always end it with respectfully, Teacher Devin. And then I leave my handle so they can find it. And I didn't used to put my handle. I didn't put the my ending. It's uh, Devin J E is my handle, but I didn't used to put that. But then I realized if a teacher, if they want to find me, they might find another Devin, but they won't find Devin J.E. So right. I included uh, J.E. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's what I do. And I do that because I really wanted to, and every once in a while, depending on who, who the, the student is, I, I'll say something like, follow me to get um, available. Uh Oh, are you there? Okay, I lost your sound. Yeah. Oops. Hold on. <laughs> I lost the sound for half a second, but now it's it's good. It's good. Can you hear me? Try again here. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Am I can back? Can you hear me? Yeah. I can hear you. What about me? Okay, good. I can hear you. I just don't know if you can hear me. Okay. <laughs> I can hear you. Yes, you're good. You can. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Um, okay. So then teacher to teacher feedback. Uh, what do you like to see or do you even read it or um, tell me about that? Say that again. I'm sorry. Uh, teacher to teacher feedback. Do oh. you read teacher to teacher feedback? And if you do, what do you like to see? Oh, yes. I read it. Um, I actually read it like before I get into the class and I read it sometimes when I'm in the class, depending on, depending on what's going on in the classroom. But yes, I absolutely love to see that if there's like, um, if they're doing really well, they're a really good reader or whatever it is. Um, those are so, those are nice little comments to read because then you can prepare mm -hmm. and you can say, okay, well this person, like if they have trouble, like when you give them a question and they really struggle with the question, like they're just not ready to extend. And if you ask them a question and they can't answer, um, not that you don't want to ask them a question, but if you have that to begin with, you can do a lot more in the classroom. So I really enjoy that um, when people give that kind of feedback. And then if there's anything fun that they like, like it says they love Legos or they love this, right. that's awesome because yeah, then I can kind of customize my rewards mm -hmm. to, uh, to give them what they like. So <laughs> like, this is one of my rewards. <laughs> That's an eraser? It's a hot dog. It's a Shopkins oh, hot dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> How funny. So, like, I've been using Shopkins in my class <laughs> uh -huh. this morning, and I had a lot of fun with it. And cake. They love cake. So, hey, cake. Anyway. Okay, so um, the last thing that I wanted to ask you about was your beard. Um, I'm going to turn commenting back on. But okay. um, So you used to have a pretty long beard and um and last time i talked to you you were clean shaven so yes. um now you've got it, it's a little a little goatee um, it's growing out yeah, yeah I, <laughs> but tell I us about it that and it's funny because my kids today i had one of my my students he goes black brown white he's like pointing <laughs> to my face um I'm like yeah i have all those things i'm black brown and white my my beard is salt and pepper for sure but yeah i had a beard and it was like pretty much down to about there. Um, I will probably post a picture of it on my Instagram so so people can see like, yeah, it was pretty long. So my a bit emoji or bitmoji definitely looked more like me and then I, I've kind of changed a little bit. But yeah, I change all the time. Shave. And so what was the reaction from your students when they saw you clean shaven? <laughs> They're like, <laughs> Teacher Devin, your face, you are so, oh, you know, yeah, they, that was a lot of fun. Um, um, do you think it's helped you in your um, teaching methods, such as pronunciation? Did a beard hinder that in any way? I, I don't know. Like, sometimes I think so. Sometimes I think not. Mm -hmm. um, I know that when it was really long, they probably couldn't see because, I mean, it was like this. So it's like, ow. I mean, I always try to get way up in the camera and show them um, 
my face, but that doesn't always work out so well. So uh, I don't think it's hindered it, but I definitely, I, I got called the bearded teacher for a long time, which that was kind of fun. I enjoyed, <laughs> enjoyed that. And but now, now I'm like, that description I like to have a little bit of hair because then I'm like, otherwise I'm baby face, you know, so. Well, I think you look fine both ways. Um, so any other comments you wish to uh, impart to our audience? <laughs> and um, if there are any questions, please, um, please type them in. Yeah, I don't know. Um, now. If there's anybody that has any questions, I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> I'm hearing a beeping sound and I have no idea where it's coming from. It's it's not me. <laughs> it's it. I don't think it's somewhere over here. I've heard <laughs> some kind of alarm that my son has started, but I can't. I can't turn it off, so it's okay. Can you hear it? I can hear it. Yes. You can hear it. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. It's, okay. Um, Sorry. Not that loud. So, any other comments you wish to impart to our audience? Well, I've had a great time. Um, and I hope that uh, maybe we could do this again sometime. It'd be fun. <laughs> and uh, VIP uh, VIP Panda is like this is a great thing that you guys are doing. I think it's awesome. And I know this is like our first interview, and so I feel kind of honored to be a part of that. And uh, you've been awesome to work with. I love that. Oh, thank um, you. Yes, it's been great. And I, I I hope that everyone has a good time doing what they're doing. And, enjoys it because it's that's what it's about like you get one trip around this planet you might as well yeah. make it good well i i'm extremely thankful um i you know when i tell people what i do they're they're just like oh that is so cool you work in your pajamas and you know yeah. it, so um the hours are a little um hard to get used to but um you do get used to it somewhat yes. <laughs> you know you start spell. going to bed at seven you know, people ask you, hey, you want to go out to dinner? No, I have to go to bed, but thank right. you. <laughs> I, most of the time I'm just like, yeah, let's do it because I'm tired, but I don't care. I just got to get yeah. going. Sometimes, like, but yesterday I slept for two hours during the day, so that's not very good. Normally yeah, I don't. Well, well, you know, it's it's definitely hard on our bodies, I think, so yeah. um, we do have to rest a little bit. Well, um, thank you so much uh, for your time, Devin. And it yes. doesn't look like anyone has any questions, but um, I will write up your your little post uh, for the for the website and sure. include all of your links there. Okay. Okay. Well, all it's right. been great. Well, thank you. Thanks, Gabrielle. Yeah. Goodbye. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>